Hi everyone, I'm Amy. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Today's workout is going to be a slow dumbbell workout using some type of step. You could use a step in your house, outside, or some type of platform. If you do not want to use that, it's okay. This will just challenge our balance. Everything will be done ultra, ultra slow. I chose my 10 pound dumbbells and let's get started. Okay guys, grab those dumbbells. Balance work, core tight, focal point. Left foot first, we're gonna raise up the right knee, keeping our hip point square, focusing on biceps. Really flex those biceps. We're gonna go up for 10. If you don't have a step, it's okay. You can still do this workout. Make sure that you don't lock that left knee on the up, neutral neck, abs are pulled in, switch legs, you will always have a side that's easier. It's the way our bodies are. More flexible, better balance, same thing. Focusing on our biceps, core is tight, focal point. Beautiful day here where I live. That's five. Two more. Beautiful work, shoulders. So on the next move, like I said, if you don't have a step, it's okay. We're gonna do shoulder presses. If you are on the floor, your left foot's gonna start, stay down, and we're gonna raise up this way. If you are on using some type of step, when you lift the leg up, you're gonna come back down on the ground. So it's gonna look like this. And you're raising this way. Okay, up for shoulders, doing your best when you raise the leg to not dip over, okay? Keep your body in alignment the best that you can. Focal point, core tight, up for 10. Remember, we have each side of our body to do. There's one. Right foot is in point, two. Just think up on the up. Three, neutral neck, core tight. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, switch sides, shake your arms out a second. So like I said, I chose a little bit heavier than what I normally do, um, at least in my videos, and it is my 10 pound dumbbells. And if you've got multiple size dumbbells at home, you know, you, some muscle groups, at least for me, are stronger, so you can always go down in your weight or go up. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, same thing, raising up the left leg now for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. Okay, back. Weights are gonna look like this. We're gonna start by raising our right leg back. So weights are here, leaving a slight bend in the left knee, and you're coming up like this and coming down, really squeezing the shoulder blades together on the up. So you're really gonna open up your chest. 10, balance, core tight, neutral neck. Left foot first, and lift. There's one, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, great move, nine, and 10. Leg that you are supporting your body weight with, really great resistance in that hamstring. So, full body experience. Same thing, up for 10. One, be careful with that neck, core tight. Two, three, four, those weights down. Let's shake out our arms a second. We're going to do triceps. So what you're going to do on here, I'm going to turn this way so you guys can see. Okay. You're going to start here. So it's going to be a bicep tricep move. We're going to lift up and you're going to do a tricep kickback and you're going to pause on the out of the weight when you are in the air. So if you're on the floor, you also are gonna lift that right leg up and back. Okay, so we're gonna go up for 10 and lift. One, remember, slow, please stay with my pace. Two. Three. Four, focal point, core tight. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, And switch legs. Really flex those biceps and triceps. One, two, three, four. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, put one of your weights down. We're gonna focus the front of the shoulder as we're opening up our hips. So I'm gonna show you this move straight on, but when we get ready to do the 10 reps, I'm gonna to turn to the side just for filming purposes, okay? A little bend in that right elbow. So you're gonna open up the right hip first. You can do whatever you want with your left arm. You can have it on your waist. If your arms are getting fatigued, you can have your arm out. It's your call. So opening up right hip, and it's gonna look like this. So I'm gonna turn sideways, but that is the move, okay? So opening up that hip, little bend in the elbow on the lift, okay? We're gonna go up for 10. So have the dumbbell in your right hand, opening up the right hip. Core is tight, slow. There's one. Make sure that you keep your shoulders down, that you're not like this as you raise the um, dumbbell up, okay? There's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, switch sides. Actually, I'm gonna go this way so my knee is not into the camera. Okay, left arm, same thing. One, two, three, four, I'm really feeling it, my core, five, six, neutral neck, seven, eight, nine, and 10, okay. So we are done with our step. We're gonna grab both weights. Going back to biceps. Now I really want you to really have wide legs, have your body weight distributed evenly into both of your feet. You're gonna drop down. So our weights are gonna be here and we're gonna cross over for biceps. So you're gonna twist the wrist on the up, flexing the biceps, staying deep with the bend of your knees if it feels okay for you. So we're gonna alternate up for 18. This is one, two, crossing over your body, three, four, five, six, please don't rush, seven, eight, challenge yourself, nine, ten, eight more, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, and 18. Shoulders. Okay, on the shoulders, we're gonna keep one arm still, which is going to be left, but it's going to be in shoulder press. But I want your arms angled more out this way. The right arm is gonna be doing the work for 10. So this is one. Doing your best to not allow the left arm to drop, two. Three, please watch your neck, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch left. One, two, three, four. Breathe. Five, neutral neck core tight. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Wow, let's put our weights down. Nice work. Not easy to keep that arm up. Whew, okay. Now we're going to. Balance, but we're gonna put the foot down in between each lift. So your palm is gonna face your outside of your left quad. Core is tight. Find something on the floor, on your mat, whatever you're working with to look at. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use my dumbbell as my focal point. The dead set in the center of my dumbbell is gonna be my focal point. Okay. So right toes are on tippy toe, bent, keeping that left knee bent, and you're gonna raise up, and then you're gonna come down back onto your tippy toes for 10. So this is one. Two, neutral neck. Three, the left leg really gets fired up. Four, five, make sure that left foot is really pushed evenly into your mat. Six, seven, eight, nine, Intense switch. Let me turn this around. Okay, we're on our right foot. Make sure that knee stays nice and bent on the lift. Left foot is tippy toe. Okay, here we go. Really focusing on our traps, upper back, core, balance, up for 10. This is one. Two, three, four, five. A lot going on in this move. Six, and I love the slowness. Seven. Eight, nine, and 10. Nice, we're gonna go on to our backs and we're gonna focus on chest and some core, okay? So slowly go to your mat. So we're gonna do chest press first. 
we're going to bend the left leg first, really pushing your back into the mat. You're going to extend your right leg long. Your right foot is in point, okay? As we raise the weights up in chest press, we're going to raise our right leg. So make sure that your lower back is pushed down and it stays down into the mat, okay? We're going to go up for 12 really slow, keeping the neck neutral. This is one. If you want to tap your right heel down on the mat, you can. If not, just have it hovering on the down. Two. Abs are really engaged. Three. Four, engage, engage, engage those abs, five, six, Seven. Keep your neck neutral. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Last one. Twelve. Nice work. Bend right foot or right, right foot, right knee. Extend the left leg out. Now we're going to do flies, keeping the leg on the left really tight in point, doing the leg lift, going slow. So we're going to start with our weights down. Just think arms up, a leg up, up for 12, pushing the back down in to your mat or floor. There's one. Doing also your best to not spill out your right leg. Two, squishy, squishy that back down onto your mat. Three, engaging the core. Four, don't hold your breath, focus on your breath. Five, Six. Seven. Eight. Stay with it, please. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Nice work. We're going to glue those feet together really have heavy inner thighs. Your weights are going to start just like this. 
and we're going to go up really slow, really tightening the arms on the up and then slow on the down, making sure that that back is pushed down in to the mat, working the front of the shoulder, the chest, straight up for 10. This is two. Please don't overstretch your inner thighs and groin. You want to ease in to the stretch. Three. Tight arms, tight chest, tight core. Four. Five. Seven. My arms are getting tired. It's a good thing. Eight. Starting to shake. Nine. Don't rush. Last one. Nice. Okay, put your weights by your side. We are going to do body weight core work now. Shake out those arms. We're going to keep our legs just as they are. Hands are going to go behind the head. Find that place to really support your neck, really engaging in the core. Pushing the back into the mat, and we're going to crunch up here for 30. This is one isometrically, which means tiny. Three, it's gonna hit you in your upper to lower core. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three. Really focus on your core. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Just your left hand behind your head. We're going to focus on our right obliques, really twisting over to the, to the right, isolating the obliques for twenty. So this is one side crunch, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Find that sweet spot where you really feel it. Eight, nine, ten. Act like someone is pulling your right arm. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Engage, pull it in 19, 20. Switch, 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, be gentle with your neck. Six, seven, keeping the legs heavy. Eight, nine, 
10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. Last move. Balling up isometrically, really, really suck, sucking in the tummy. Staying tight, tight, tight. Pretty quick pulses for 50. Last move. Stay strong, stay focused. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, forty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, fifty. Nice. Ah, oh, feels good to be back. It's been many, many weeks, and I know um, a lot of requests for another slow dumbbell workout. So whoever you are, thank you for the idea. Have a wonderful self-care day. My heart to your heart as always. Have a great day.